do we believe that this is about returning stability to prices? Well, I think it really depends on what the stability means. It is stability of prices for the seller or for the buyer, because it's if, it, if it's for the seller, then most definitely, yes. It is a very loud, a very marked Saudi first policy saying, we do care about a price floor. We do care about where prices are. And uh, frankly speaking, um, Saudi Arabia is inevitably the leader in this. Saudi Arabia is disappointed that the USSPR replenishment never really materialized in 2023. Saudi Arabia is disappointed that the macroeconomic woes that we have been seeing, the banking collapses, they all have the potential to drag oil prices down significantly lower, even though supply and demand balances didn't really change. And also, Saudi Arabia was, is very disappointed that NOPAC is back at the agenda. So, you know, if you combine all of this, it's a very, very, very strong market signal saying, yes, we do care about the price. And yes, we will do whatever it takes to, to get Brent at least to at least to 80. Victor, the, the analysts argue that the second half uh, supply demand balance already looked relatively tight here ahead of this latest cut. We did see a, a quick run up about 8% on the WTI price, but it settled back somewhat, sub a 5% gain now. What ultimately do you think this now means for the average crude price across the year and for that supply demand dynamic? Well, I think that inevitably oil is going back into the 80 to 90 bandwidth. That's 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 for sure. In the short term, I wouldn't be surprised if oil prices go up all the way to 90. And again, you've touched a very good point there that this is happening from May onwards. And the summer months of June, July and August look pretty much the tightest in all of 2023. So if there's any place where you have demand excess massively overtaken the supply then it would be in the summer months not really you know in in the in q3 or q4 because they're they're the, the balance is already different so it, it is i think taken into account people who have taken this decision they understand that summer looks remarkably tight and because they understand that summer looks remarkably tight they extracted an additional portion of supply out of the market making oil prices i mean guaranteed very high over the summer months